Welcome back, everybody. Richard Doyle coming back at you again today. I hope you guys have had a fantastic past couple of days, those being, of course, Christmas and Christmas Eve. Hope you got to spend a lot of beautiful time with your family, got the gifts that you wanted, of course, and now you're gearing up to make the rest of 2019 the best of 2019. And what we're going to be coming at you with today is why it's okay to have angry emotions as well as emotions of hatred, envy, and jealousy, and how to actually use those emotions to your ultimate benefit. So what you need to understand what we've been talking about is the power of emotions, right? When you're excited, when you're happy, when you feel blessed and prosperous and abundance, you're drawing that into your life through the law of attraction, right? Well, what you have to understand about the law of attraction is that whatever emotion that you feel is what you are drawing back to you. However, there is a way to use any emotion that you're feeling to continue to draw things nearer to you, right? And so the example I'll give you is feelings of envy, hate, jealousy, anger, fear, all of that stuff. How do you use those emotions to create more of what you want and prevent what you don't want from coming in? And it's actually fairly simple. So what you have to understand is you're using your emotions to bring things into you. So the way to think about it is it's like a magnetic pull. It's like a magnetic energy that you have inside you that when you start to build up your magnetic field and your magnetic pull, you're drawing that thing that you want closer to you, right? Well, it doesn't matter what that energy force is. It doesn't matter if it's a strong emotion uh, happy emotion, sad emotion, whatever it may be, as long as it's a strong emotion, you can use that emotion to make yourself a magnet and attract what you want to you. And here's the example I'll give you about anger, fear, hatred, all of that stuff. What you're going to want to do is when you're having those feelings of anger, jealousy, hate, frustration, all of that stuff, what you want to do is in that moment, you want to take that energy and focus it on what you do want. Now, this is going to be extremely difficult for you to do. Reason being is whatever made you angry, frustrated, sad, jealous, whatever the case may be, is going to be your predominant thought up here. So where the tricky part comes in is when you're starting to feel incredibly frustrated or fearful or angry or whatever the case may be and you have that thought in your head that's causing that emotion, you need to nip that thought in the bud immediately and you need to switch that thought into a thought of something that you do want. So the example I'll give you is let's say that you're in a relationship with somebody and you get a text message or a phone call from that person. They say, hey, I'm really sorry to tell you this, but um, I actually just hooked up with an old friend of mine and instantly you're like, Oh my God, I'm so angry about that. Right. And now your thought process is why would this person do this to me? What you need to do is in the moment that you're feeling that emotion, switch the thought process. So switch it to something like, well, I want somebody who is not going to cheat on me. Somebody I love, somebody who cares about me uh, immensely, somebody who's going to be there for me, somebody who loves me and, and cares about me. So now what you're doing is you're using that magnet of emotion that you are and you're transforming it into what you do want. So you've received a situation in your life that has made you feel angry, sad, frustrated, annoyed, whatever the case may be. And when that emotion arises, you're switching the thought process and you're going straight into, here's what I want. This made me feel this way and I'm okay feeling this way because I understand that this is just an experience that I'm feeling right now, but I'm going to channel this energy and focus it exactly on what I do want. And when you start to do that, you're using the law of attraction to bring in that new definition of what you want toward you faster because you have such strong and intense emotions inside of you. So what you have to understand is the law of attraction is going to work with you strictly based on a vibration of energy standpoint. If you're in a really high vibration where you feel great, you feel prosperous, you feel abundant, you feel loved, you feel all of it, the universe is going to work with that emotion, right? Now, if you feel the opposite, but it's still a strong emotion, the universe will work with that as well. As long as your focus of energy and the, your focus and intention of your mind is in the right area 
when you're feeling these emotions. You can use these emotions to draw more and more of what you want into your life. Now, obviously, definitely still encourage you to feel as good as you possibly can, but that's not always going to be the case for you. And that's how you use those negative emotions that you may be feeling to help create more of what you want as well. So I hope this video helped you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for the love and support that I've been getting on this channel. Of course, subscribe down below if you haven't. Hit the bell notification. Helps you understand when we are having a new video and when I do post a new video. I am going to be switching up the mantra a little bit here. We are doing, um, we were doing rather, videos every Monday through Friday. That's no longer going to be the case. It is going to be two days a week. I've not decided what those two days a week are. I will post it on the Facebook page when I decide what two days I'm going to be posting these videos. And of course, if you haven't gotten on the Facebook page, it's facebook.com forward slash the real Rick Doyle. And of course, check out the website, rickdlifestyle.com helps you get involved in all of the latest stuff that's going on. I'm so thankful for you guys. I'm so blessed. I'm so prosperous. I'm so abundant. I'm so everything. And I love you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and peace.